this is Paul, yes, <laughs> the hope which is laid up for myself in heaven, yeah, <laughs> where have ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel, <laughs> which is come unto you as it is in all the world, <laughs> bringeth forth fruit as it doth also in you <laughs> since the day ye heard of it and knew as in you had the knowledge oh uh and the k-n-e-w it's not like a new yes it's, it's not n-e-w <laughs> and knew the grace of god in truth yes now this day that you heard of it mm -hmm. Let's say uh, you decided that you were going to counterfeit Christianity and the kingdom of God. And you'd say, well, you can just be saved and be a saint. Yes, I don't really see it like that. See, there were certain individuals that had this experience with God. Yes, that um, actually were sanctified. Poop. <laughs> A little different than the saved, the saints. <laughs> and as much as Catholicism said, well, we have a certain methodology for identifying saints. <laughs> there are a lot of persons throughout the last 2,000 years mm -hmm, that were never recognized by any denomination as being significant. <laughs> now, let's say you're in the Orthodoxy, Russian Orthodoxy, their uh, patriarch Kirill. Yes. Mm -hmm. I thought the whole schism with Russia or the Ukraine and the Catholics started sometime before 1000 AD. Yes. See, we have the recognized saints of denominations, but I had spent a lot of time thinking about all the Christians we've never heard of. <laughs> and as difficult as it is to believe that you could be a saint and nobody's ever heard of you, yes, there have been a lot of very devout individuals for the last 2,000 years <laughs> that nothing was ever recorded about them. Pooch! <laughs> They were never recognized for being saints. <laughs> now, let's say you're sitting at home. <laughs> you're sitting there holy. <laughs> Nobody knows your name <laughs> except for the Father. 